Welcome to the filament corner. Well, that's what I've been calling this. So, initially, I made a video on extending the Z-axis on my Wanho i3V2. And sadly, after looking over the footage, well, something happened to the beginning, the disassembly. But, the reassembly was still intact. All that was missing was the very beginning and actually disassembling that top part. So I'm just making a quick intro for that and hopefully it can still be of some help to some of y'all people. So that should be coming up right now. Alright, so as you can see I have put in the first two screws on this right here, this piece of metal, and if we look at the back you can see that instead of using lock nuts I just use two normal nuts and together they will act as a lock nut now an important thing to notice is this is moving and normally this will not move but that's because funny enough that has two screws that the Z brace holds so naturally naturally this screw and the screw down there will go pass through this and will hold this but now that we've taken it apart that's free to move so that's an important thing to note this has to be lined up properly whenever we reinstall that right there I'll be back after I've finished with the other side alright so uh, we have installed both of the extensions and I have reinserted the lower screws on the Z-brace however I have not tightened them they are still loose and the reason why you want to do that is if you tighten them and then try to add this this acts as a separator naturally in the design so if you tighten these lower ones before putting this on well it might not fit the way that you want it to or the way it was made to now if you look at the side of it you'll notice that you've only got two screws here and you've only got two screws up here so this means that there's nothing holding this to the base other than screws that you've applied so you need to also have not only your screws but your nuts as well for that you'll have to get them preferably whenever you get your screws for the extension but it's just an important thing to remember that with this you have to have some of the hardware yourself or you won't be able to successfully install it and when we come back I will have it installed and I will show it to you alright so we have put this back on and as you can see it's extended and we've put all the bolts back in and so now all I have to do is set it up and we'll see how high she can go now whenever we come back to it right here in a minute so as you can see I've got her plugged back up and right now it is at 155 almost 156 I don't know if the camera will pick that up clearly but that is pretty high considering that we can still keep going up so that's around 165 166 and it's just now starting to get to go up that high where before this would have been down lower and we probably would have already ran this cord into it possibly causing damage to it so in the end 
I think this is a nice mod. It allows me to print bigger things, taller things, and allows me to really utilize that 180 that they claim this printer can do. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.